me talk to you about anchoring in deep water. Anchoring in deep water is probably the most complex way to anchor. If you're going to deep, if you're going to fish crankbaits to deep structure, to deep cover, if you're going to slow roll really big Colorado spinnerbaits, that's going to want to pull your boat to it. You're not going to be able to make an adequate presentation to cast far enough, far enough past the, the object or cast far enough past the structure to get your lure down to that position if you can't hold the kayak in place. So for deep water anchoring, I choose a Bruce anchor. Bruce anchor is a really lightweight anchor and actually when it lays down, it digs into the bottom. I actually pre-rig my Bruce anchor with a segment of line that is my lower, uh, the, the, the connected section. This section is connected to the Bruce with this thicker diameter rope because in the current, that's gonna lay the rope, the anchor out flat, and make it connect. You'll notice here that I've got a running line. I've got it connected and I've got it basically a permanent loop. You also notice that I didn't connect it to the top of the anchor. Like you'll see a lot of anchors tied off in magazine ads or tied off in the actual package when they come to you. This ring was placed here so that this is the primary attachment point on your anchor. And let me show you why you do that. Put yourself a zip tie or some other type of breakaway, heavy monofilament connecting to the top of the anchor. When you deploy that anchor and it gets connected, if that anchor becomes snag, if you had it tied to the top of the anchor, you're never getting that anchor free and you're gonna basically you know, sacrifice that to Davy Jones' locker. However, by securing the system this way, when you pull on it and that breaks, the anchor will come out cleanly and you don't lose your anchor. 